Dr. Sierra here today, and I have something to tell you. Dun, dun, dun. It's Sierra Awareness Week! Dun, dun. Celebrate, celebrate! I actually have some decorations up I need to tell you. Look, I got some sea otters hanging. I got a sea otter on the back of that sea otter. But here, oh yeah, so cute. IG, so cute. He may look cute to you folks, and he is, but inside is the real heart of it. It's a keystone species that's keeping you alive. Now we have another sign up here. It's Sea Otter Savvy, respect the nap, do not disturb, be Sea Otter Savvy. Tip of the day from Dr. Sea Otter is clean up your cat's poop. When Here we are, our cute little kitty sitting here. But inside, it's actually a Sea Otter serial killer. See him? He's so evil. When your cat poops outside, when your cat poops in general, it, okay, let me start from the beginning. A mouse, so there's the parasite Toxoplasma gondii. Toxoplasma gondii gets inside of the mouse. The mouse gets eaten by the cat. Then the cat poops. The human either flushes it down a toilet or when the cat poops outside, it get washes down from with rain or anything to the ocean. Now, this eventually, or like the, when it when you flush it down the toilet, it'll go down plumbing. Or when it maybe remember you're like I'm like I'm not even close to the ocean. Well, have you ever seen the dra those drains that says like drains to the ocean? Well, that also leads to the ocean. Because it says leads to the ocean. Now, um, the Toxoplasma gondii eventually gets into the sea otter. It gets infected and dies. We don't want that because the cutie boo up there is a keystone species. Not the keystone species of cute folks. It's the keystone species of the California Bay and the whole world. It is when sea otters love to eat sea urchins and sea urchins love to eat kelp so when we humans take out the sea otters the urchin the urchin population grows humongously and then it starts eating this kelp which like eats it like that i mean like how do they how are they so hungry all the time but anyways they're always eating and so they'll devour a whole Think of kelp, and folks, kelp creates 70% of our oxygen. Just keep that in mind. Um, so urchins, um, they eat all this kelp, which is a, it gives us oxygen, and it's a huge, basically a huge city for a bunch of different species. And so when, when you take out the sea otters, the urchins eat everything, and then it's just nothing. And then the urchins eventually starve themselves because they don't have any more food. So folks, keep sea otters in mind when you breathe air. Thank you. Dr. Sea Otter, signing off.